Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a weekly reading for November 11th through the 17th. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I'm using the Vice Versa Tarot deck right here as I'm shuffling. The Energy Oracle and the uh, Angel Romance cards. Okay, I'm just going to see what comes up for the week ahead. This reading may or may not be for you. Not every reading is going to be for you. What do we have for Gemini? What's coming in for Gemini in regards to relationships for the week ahead? Ooh, the Four of Wands. So this is a celebration. So this is a celebration. This is having fun, dancing, connecting, uh, at ease. It's like, it's a beautiful time. It's a happy time. Things are looking up. I mean, things are looking good. Um, it looks as though we have a couple people here that somebody may be getting married, they may be getting engaged, or they're just celebrating. Could be an anniversary. Um, this is some sort of celebration. So you are going to be having some sort of celebration in the next seven days, is it? Nine of Cups. Wow. This is excellent. Okay, this is this is very happy. Very, very happy. It's going to be a good week, Gemini. It's like you've got it all, right? It's yours. You've got it all. You've got exactly what you wish for. This is extreme happiness. This is like a dream come true, right? With a Nine of Cups. It's like you have everything. You're not lacking, that's for sure. You're right where you need to be. You have plenty. It's like, wow, this is amazing. It's like you're very powerful at this time as well. With that red just really calling out to me. Red is very powerful. Very happy. Very happy, happy, happy. Knight of Cups. You're receiving, you're receiving some love from somebody, Gemini. You are. Somebody is coming after you and they're giving you some sort of love. You are you may even be getting proposed to. You may be for some of you may be proposed to. I'm not saying that's gonna happen for everybody, but this Knight of Cups, this is like a romantic. It's gonna be a romantic week, a, a lovey week, a lovey dovey week. You may feel like you're on cloud nine. The heck is this? It's like somebody is coming in with a offer of love. Whoever this person is, I think that they have pure intentions. And if you are already in a relationship, your relationship may be stepping it up to the next level. Put it that way. <laughs> if you're in one right now, you may be stepping it up. <laughs> I got this dry throat. I'm telling you what. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. We could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that is stable, solid, secure, has a lot to offer. This Queen of Pentacles has something solid in her hand. She has, she has stability to offer. She knows her value. She's very valuable. This person is very grounded, centered, down-to-earth, motherly. You could be taking on this energy, uh, Gemini, if you are the female. If you are the male, you may be dealing with this earth sign. This earth, earth sign is very fertile. Um, you may have your eye on this person. She's very laid back. Um, easy to get along with. She knows what she has to offer, put it that way. The feminine here knows what they what she has to offer. She's not desperate. Here we have this person right here that also has a lot to offer. It looks like this guy is thinking about approaching her. Thinking about approaching her. He may be a little fearful though. Maybe he's fearful of commitment. He wants to. It's like, she's the one I want. I see an opportunity for, this is the one I want. So I do feel as though you have somebody, Gemini, that wants you. 
If you are the male, as you may want a female that is an earth sign, doesn't have to be. But if you are the if you are the if you are the female, I feel like you're taking on this energy and you got somebody here that wants you. They see you as wish fulfillment. They see you as somebody that is stable and down to earth and capable of taking care of them. They like they're like, man, that would be my ten of cups. That would be the icing on the cake. So I think that we have somebody here that may want to, they may want a reun reunion with you. They may, if this is somebody from the past, which I'm not positive that is the case, this could be somebody brand new, somebody that's been watching you, they've been, they've been thinking about it. Um, temperance, waiting for the right time waiting for the right time i think this person has been waiting for the right time to dip their foot in and test the waters with you i think that they've been watching they haven't or they if you or if you're already in a relationship they've been waiting for the time to express how they truly feel or to propose or whatever the case is um i think that there's about to be a change um a big change okay there's about to be a big change um it's time it is time this person is like this is what i want this is this 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 is who i think can bring balance and harmony to my life this is the reason this is the reason knight of wands some this person's coming after you this person is coming after you you got somebody coming after you Gemini they want you they want to mingle with you they want to get to know you they want to be part of you I think that they they know or they feel some sort of deep connection with you they have this sense of knowing that perhaps you're the one. They think that you're the one, whoever this person is. Probably when they look at you, they feel like it's magic. They feel some sort of real divine connection here. And I feel like you're about, somebody is about to come towards you. They are. They're going to come towards you with, with an offer of love. They are going to be very excited about it. They have a lot of confidence. This person, um, if they've been waiting, I think the waiting is just about over. I think that you may know, you may have, you may have felt like this is coming. You may have felt like things were going to change. If you've been thinking that, then you are absolutely co correct. I think that there is going to be some sort of unexpected celebration if you go to some sort of celebration in the next week and you haven't met this person. You may meet this person uh, unexpectedly. It could be like serendipity. Um, you may just be not even looking for it. This person sees you from afar and they think that's the one. That's the one. I got to go after this person. I got to. I have to. My gut tells me that I have to make a move. I have to, you know, dip my feet in. I got to see I got to see how this person feels. I got to see if this person is is how I'm really feeling. So Gemini, I feel like you're going to go to some sort of celebration if you're single. Now this could be any kind of celebration. It's where there's people and perhaps dancing or doesn't have to be dancing, but there's some sort of get together, okay? And it's like you're just you're just sitting there watching everybody, right? You're people watching. That's what that's what I get. It's like you're sitting there and you're watching everybody. And you don't even notice that somebody is watching you, okay? And this person uh, is a romantic. This person um, I 
think this person is a little scared because of the armor. Because of the armor on that Knight of Cups. I think this person is a little scared. They're a little scared. They may, they may be scared of rejection. So just, you know, be easy on this person. Anyway, I think this person does have a lot of confidence, though. This person has a lot of confidence, but even the most confident person in the world doesn't like re rejection. Anyhow, Gemini, I think that you you may have something uh, coming into your life at this time that was meant to come in at this time. It's part of the script. This person is is when they when they when they see you, they may instantly feel like you are the one. They this could be an instant attraction of some sort. You it's like you don't even see it coming. It's like you're not even looking for it, but you kind of sensed it. You know what I mean? If if you were in a partner relationship, it's the same kind of thing. Your relationship is stepping it up to the next level and you you sensed it, but you weren't sure if it was ever going to happen. I think that this is part of the script. I think that the time is now for things to change. And I think things, whatever's changing, it's all very positive. Um, you have somebody here that, you know, he, this person thinks before he takes action. He doesn't just leap. So he's he's going to, or he or she, this person is going to see you. They're going to feel some sort of emotion and they're going to take a night to sleep on it. And probably, probably in the morning, you know, they decide to react. You know, they decide to uh, do whatever there it is that they're going to do to pursue you, whatever the case is. I feel as though you're dealing with a Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There is some sort of, 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 uh, connection here where you actually connect with this person like get really close to this person I feel like you're in like arm's length with this person you actually do have a conversation with this person um, and I think that once once you have this conversation you know um, you may feel a little uneasy you may feel uneasy. You may feel like you want to retreat. You may even feel a little bit intimidated by this. <laughs> Interesting. I think you've, you've been waiting. You've been waiting for the moment for this person to approach. Whoever this person, whether you know them or not. It's like you've been waiting for this person and here they are. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And flirt. That's what's going to be happening. It's like you start flirting with somebody and, you know, we got flirt and playfulness and this person is like... Damn, damn, but you seem so grounded and laid back and aloof. This person might be like, geez, you're hard to read. You're hard to read. So that's why they may be a little scared. They're like, am I reading this wrong? Should I dip my foot in here? Will I get rejected? So anyway, I feel as though this week you are in for a surprise. I feel like you're in for a surprise. Gemini, one card. Here it is. Ooh, financial constraints. Oh, well, financial constraints. Your cupboards may be a little bare, right? Maybe you need to buckle down in the finance arena. Perhaps you uh, need to buckle down in the finance arena. Perhaps you not haven't been focusing too much on saving money. And you need to save some money. You may have to, you know, step back from spending so much money this week. You know, if the if the old bank account is dwindling down, maybe this week you just need to uh, 
not overindulge because it's overindulging here and overindulging here. And you know, hold on to your money. So for a financial message, hold on to your money. Don't spend your money this week. Hold on to it. Just 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 keep it to yourself. I do feel as well for some of you. You may be uh, reluctant to get into any new relationship. You just you may feel like you want to wait for the right one. I think whoever this person is that is interested in you has a lot to offer. You might want to give them a chance. That is what I have to say. Good luck.